Hi everybody. Seems the corruption started early today, before people even had breakfast. Seems the DNC and Hillary Clinton have changed the rules again. Instead of the vote today for Bernie or Hillary on the DNC floor, where it's supposed to be, that's the rules, uh, they decided to have the vote at breakfast. So what they did was they had everyone get some food, come over to the uh, tables at their different hotels. So this wasn't even all done together at one big breakfast. This has been done, you know, a couple over here, a couple over here. Let's keep you separated. We don't want the Bernie people being able to complain that this is election fraud and, you know, it's all going to go horribly, horribly wrong because I, I, we're all going to be shocked when they name Hillary the winner, aren't we? We're all just going to, you know, oh, yeah. No, that's not going to happen. Uh, this is what's going to happen after the people voted. I vote Bernie, but this is what's going to happen to those Bernie votes when they turn around for their meal. Bye, Bernie. Yes, if you find that unacceptable, I know I find it unacceptable. Write the DNC right now. Call the DNC right now. Call the president. Call the White House. This is insane. Call your state legislators. Legislators, unacceptable. This is not the way democracy is supposed to be. We have seen cheating and election fraud on an epic scale. We all know this election is fraudulent. The FBI should have had Hillary arrested. Loretta Lynch should have prosecuted. Hillary belongs in a very special jail for crazy, insane people that kill people all the time to get what they want. Uh, there's more reports of deaths. It's just completely unacceptable. I mean, this election has been rife with heroes and villains left and right. Yeah, you know, I'm, people have told me it's like they're living in a spy novel watching this uh, go down. Uh, the heroes like Ed Higgins that has marched across the country to get to Philadelphia to fight for Bernie, and Claudia from the cabin talk, and she's just always there. She's in Philadelphia right now with Ed. Uh, she's been a great source of information. She's always putting herself in the middle of everything. And uh, I appreciate uh, all the work she's done. And all the other people in Philadelphia. And all the people that have devoted their time and money and energy to this election. To get the DNC to wake up and realize that what they're doing is wrong. It is completely unacceptable. They have forgotten that they have been elected to temporary jobs for the people. That is what an elected office is for. It is to take care of your constituents, to take care of the people in your state, in your hometown, wherever you may live. Let me tell you, once I get elected to the U.S. Senate here in Massachusetts, I'm going to live by some very simple rules. One, is it good for the people of my state? Is it good for the people in our country? And God willing, is it good enough whatever I'm voting for, to help the people of the world. That's what should be considered when you're voting in Congress. When you step up and you pass votes for things like the TPP, or fracking, or you continue to accept the decline of our education system, you don't belong in Washington. You don't belong making decisions for the people that mistakenly voted for you. Do them a favor. They probably did not realize what liars and backstabbers you are. It's time to step down. It's time to get out of the way for people like me and all the other Bernocrats that are running for office. We're coming. We're going to take over Congress. You're going to see my face and many others in Washington and in different cities that are running for mayor and offices all across this country. We are taking this country back and we're not going to take it. Now, tonight in Philadelphia, at some point, they're going to call this election, and like I said, not really going to be shocked if they say Hillary's name. I don't think anybody is. And it's not because she won. It's because she's cheated. And unless Bernie himself or Jane Sanders count up those votes, and they do it on live TV, and, you know, there's some kind of chain of evidence leading that all these 
different people voting at all these different hotels. Somehow, all these different votes all got to the right hands to be counted. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to have uh, theft of this election. We've already witnessed the theft of this election. It's despicable. Hillary is not our president, and she will never be our president. And, uh, you know, the people in Philadelphia, they're going to have to decide what they're going to do tonight. Uh, it's just... God help them and, you know, what they decide to do in Philly tonight once, once this election is called. You know, I pray and hope that, you know, an accident happens and Hillary falls down some stairs. I don't know what else could happen that could straighten things out in this country peacefully. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little upset at the way things are going right now. I think that's obvious. You should be upset, too. I imagine we all are right now. Right now, I am encouraging everyone, everyone that can hear this, tell everyone, tell your neighbors, stand in front of your post offices, stand in front of your local food markets. It's time to go green. It's time to leave the DNC. It is utterly corrupt and it's contemptible. It's in contempt of itself and we cannot have it. This is supposed to be a free democracy. And the things we have to look forward to, if Hillary gets her way, is more stolen elections, more wars. We are seriously looking down the barrel of a gun with World War III here, people. Hillary wants to go to war with Russia. Putin himself has said that if Hillary's elected, it means war. I have daughters, I have a son, I have a cousin who just joined the National Guard. It is very likely that at least he will be dragged into this war, that your sons and daughters are going to be dragged into this war by Hillary Clinton. And for what? Because of the WikiLeaks emails? That's why Hillary's going to say it's okay to go to war? Guess what? She committed the crimes. Not Putin, not Russia. I don't give a crap who hacked those emails. They deserve a medal for doing it. For telling us all the truth, telling us what's happening. We need to know what's happening because our media is not doing it. We need to stand up and keep fighting no matter what happens tonight. The revolution is going on and we are not going to stand for this. So get ready for tonight, people. It's going to get interesting. I'll be back with updates and like I said, Go Green, support Jill Stein, and good luck in Philly tonight, folks. Remember, this is Josh Ford running for the U.S. Senate and Congress in Massachusetts in the 2018 election against Elizabeth Warren, another one of the big sellouts and villains of this corrupt campaign. Let's stick together. Let's fix things for the better. Thank you.